What is up Sprites? Welcome to the Retro Rescue. My name is Austin and this is just a little update on a video that I did a while back where I asked So what is it? And what is it indeed? The EverDrive. This is what this video was particular about and I know I think I believe I mentioned in that video that I didn't have the most up-to-date versions of the N64 and the Super Nintendo um, EverDrive. Now, I've recently got hold of the EverDrive V3 for the N64, um, which obviously allows you to have a uh, bigger memory card in it, and um, and obviously which means you can have more ROMs. But, I mean, really, I've got every ROM that is needed for it, and that's a 32 gig. So, although you're up to 64, you, you can have more, should you need to. Because, obviously, if, if you want to put your uh, Super Nintendo library and NES library with emulators on there, and run them on your... Uh, on your N64 you can. The main one was this. I had the Super EverDrive which was the NES uh, Super NES EverDrive. This one is again from Crix. It's the same um, it's the same uh, thing really but the difference is this one the SD to SNES has the special uh, chips in it or the enhancement chips so I can now actually play um, Mario Kart, that kind of thing. Anything that has a Super FX chip in it, I can now play that with this one. Now, I wanted to get this one, but what prompted me to buy this one? Um, and it was a uh, it was a conversation I was having with uh, with Ali at Retro Hunter in Leon C, which is a place that I normally go to. I'll put the uh, uh, links in the uh, description below. Um, and there is a video coming out very very soon um, where we will uh, where we will visit him and I'll show you around the store. But because I was talking to him and I remember seeing uh, a game that you might have seen in the past um, called Road Avenger on the Mega CD, which is an FMV, you know, what do they call that? Quick time based game. So uh, quick time event game. So presses an arrow to go left, you go left, you go right, you go right, press a button to go faster, brake, all that kind of thing. So pretty basic game, but it's all based on FMV. And I was watching, I think it might well have been uh, Metal Jesus, Rocks, or somebody like that um, on YouTube. And somebody was saying that they had actually played it on the Super Nintendo. And I'm like, FMV on the Super Nintendo? And while having a conversation with Ali, uh, I mentioned this. He went, no, I would have heard about that. Uh, and it turns out it wasn't obviously an official release. It was uh, someone had ported it. Um, but it was only available to work if you had the SD to NES. So, um, we found that out, and we were both curious as to whether it would work or not. So, I came home, I found the ROM, and I downloaded it, and um, it's about nearly, it's nearly 800 megabytes, this ROM. So it's not your standard ROM, that's for sure. Uh, and I ordered myself up. Uh, one of these, well obviously I got both of these at the same time because I thought <laughs> no time like the present, might as well get them. Um, and I thought, does it work? Really, does it work? Now I plugged it into, I plugged this SD card, the good thing is I was able to use my same SD card, so I've got 8 gigabyte SD card here, and that's got, including uh, that game, has got the full ROM library of NES games on it. Um, Japanese, US, and um, PAL, uh, UK. And I plugged it into my normal um, Super EverDrive and it said um, MPU1, which is one of the enhancement chips that these have um, and that this FMV was based upon, doesn't work. So with that said, it, um, it said this thing is not available, so it won't run. So does it work? Let's have a look. Right, so I've popped the uh, cartridge in. And uh, let's uh, let's change to the game screen. Oh, yeah, I was I was having a little jaunt on uh, on uh, on GTA, and I just left it turned on. So let's 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 uh, let's turn me on there. Where am I? Oh, there I am. And let's turn the console on and see if we cannot choose the correct input so we want that one we want that one and should be that one so that's always a good start but it usually does that just before it kicks in way there you go so there is our everdrive or our sd2 snes um screen so we're gonna want probably some 
sound. Let's turn that down. Don't want it too loud. Don't want no no copyright strikes. So that's uh, so obviously I'm using this on proper hardware. So you know uh, I, I'm not uh, I'm not using emulators. On so this is all on a proper doobie. So it's called right, the game is actually called Super Road Blaster. So we're going to go on here now. Obviously it comes up it comes up first because sometimes for whatever reason these things don't put into order. So let's press go on Super Road Blaster for the Super Nintendo. Now, I know what you're thinking, how can FMV work? But, got the same intro screen, and there you go, it's, uh, so you go, so you obviously Road Blaster, and there we are. Different music, this is the Japanese version that's running. It's working! This is on a non-modded, in any way, Super Nintendo. Now because it's the MPU one, you know, I'm, I'm sure there's obviously, there's emulation probably happening, I'm sure, because, you know, like I say, it's 800 megabytes, and I'm sure it's running in some form of emulated mode, but it is running using the Super Nintendo enhancement chips from an actual Super Nintendo. And it's, let's just miss out this. Obviously, his girlfriend gets killed. So there you go. You can see it's taking, making use of the uh, sprite scaling and all that kind of thing for the Super Nintendo. So let's click on that. Turns the key. And we're away. I'm not being funny, it's actually easier to play on this than it is on the uh, on the Mega CD. Let's go to the right. So you can see it's ported from the arcade machine more. There we go. Because it's got points, and normally you don't bother with points. Oops, I didn't press the turbo. You've really got to, the thing is you want to watch the, the movie stuff, but you don't you don't think to always look at the screen for what they're talking about. You don't yeah. So basically it's a quick time event game. If you don't press the game, if you don't press the buttons quick enough, you go on that. I would think we're gonna to have to dodge this. Turn right again. Well, anyway, there you go. Super Road Blaster running on the S in the S. Um, who knew? Who would have ever have thought that that was going to work on there? You know? Anyway, there you go. Uh, this video was put up just because Ali said, do a video quick. I want to see that working. So I thought I might as well do it as a proper video. So, Everdrive 64 V3, get it. SD to NES, it's the better one to get, it means you as well you can play Mario Kart and F FX chip ones, it is worth doing. So, with all that said, I'm going to say the usual spiel, you know, please like, share, subscribe, you know, I'm, you know, subscribers are coming through slowly, but I'm enjoying just doing the videos, and I hope those of you that are subscribing and are watching are enjoying them too, and remember, this is just a retro trip that I'm going down, um, and I just want to take you guys with me. Look at that. What a, what a great piece of music to end on. Love it. Anyway, catch you next time.